Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of San Diego Gold. This is Huge Hauser. That's H-U-G-E. And we're here today with a Mr. All Cox. Oh yeah, and this is this is his Jeep. And here it is, and we're gonna introduce you to Mr. All Cox. Uh, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about about this vehicle. Here he is. Take it away, all or Al, I'm sorry, I think I mispronounced your name. You know, Touch my food. I can't stand when you touch people's food. It makes me want to puke. Other than that, this is my Jeep and I'm going to turn it on. Yeah, as you can see, he's got he's got four-wheel drive. Oh, in here. He's got some big tires. And these tires, look at the size of those nuts. You do this a lot? You do this a lot? This is my show. Okay. All right, we're pulling into the uh, Corral Canyon off-road vehicle area, and we're pulling into uh, the, uh, I think it's the Bobcat campground, and we're just going to take a quick look at the campground. We're in Al's, Al's Jeep here, and checking things out. It's uh, a beautiful day, Saturday. It's the most crowded I think I've seen it in a long time. Crowded? Crowded. Yeah, yeah. All, mostly motorcycles, yeah. not all of them, so. Yeah, you get to see uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of motorcycle usage here, a lot of people with their motorcycles. Um, not too many Jeeps right in here, but tent campers, it looks like. Kind of a nice uh, a nice campground. That's okay. Yeah, it's got uh, a lot of nice oak oak environment here. Look at this. And this is a bummer because we were just commenting on it's too bad that there's graffiti out here in some of these areas. What uh, would possess a person to come out here and do this graffiti? It's pretty ridiculous. So, but anyway, we're gonna uh, keep going down some of the dirt trails here in Al's uh, 1997 Jeep, which is an awesome vehicle. Having a good time. So, later. Continuing up the trail. This is uh, Trail 11. It's a new trail according to Al. Um, the trail just immediately to the right. Oh, hit this one. This one that goes off to the right looks like a new trail. So I'm going to film a little bit of this trail as we go up. Uh, and then later on I'll probably do a little bit more filming as we get into uh, some more difficult four-wheel drive. We're still in two-wheel drive. It's beautiful out here. Uh, a lot of manzanita and shrubs and there's a few people out here for the weekend, but as you can see, the, the road's getting uh, getting nice. This is good, good little off-road, uh, not off-road action, but a little uh, dirt road action here. Again, Corral Canyon, OHV, with Mr. Alcox driving. Hi, Alcox. With his large tires and his big nuts. Uh, it's working out really well. <laughs> it's, I appreciate it. Can you comment it. on that, yeah? That's all true. <laughs> He's got his he's got his hat on here and hey we're bouncing around pretty good you can tell by the camera so yeah, this, check out my shocks yeah he's got his brand new shocks on this thing this is quite a rake and uh, yeah it's not me shaking the camera we're actually uh, going along the dirt road and oh here we got it oh this is good this is a good groove okay we're gonna be taking this nicely yeah very good Here's the other end of the trail. Over there, yeah. It's a beautiful day. During the springtime, this is beautiful through here because on both sides of the road that I'm driving, it's just uh, full of flowers. They're yes. all in bloom, yellow, purple, some reds. And this is October, we're in the fall, but actually it was a wet year, so there's still, believe it or not, a lot of uh, not as brown as it could be for this, this time of the year. I mean, it's not Vermont, but it's pretty pretty bitching. And you get a good view here through the windshield in the distance, just looking to the west. And then there's a fire lookout up here. I don't know if we're going to get up there later. Maybe we will. It's the last one in San Diego County, actually manned by a human. Yep, his name is Norm. Ranger Norm. He's a good guy, according to Al. This is a great... A little more greenery in here. I suspect there might be some underground water in here. All right, I'm going to turn this off now and I'll catch a little bit more later and then I'll shut up.
All right, here we are up at Corral Canyon, and uh, Al's in the Jeep. I'm at the top of the hill here. He's going to come on up the hill here in the Jeep. Very impressive. <laughs> so let's see. Let's get a little tech talk here. So, oh God! Tell me, tell me about what the purpose of the lockers is again. That's cool. Well, with the lockers, front and rear, which I have them both, and they air are ARB air activated, so I have a compressor on board. What happens is normally when the axles are running, you have a, a slip, a limited slip. So that means if, uh, one tire loses traction, then the power all goes. Away. Case where the lockers activated, and what happens is that you're going to get equal power, and there will be no slip. So that way, you have, if you will, permanent traction. At least there. Now, does it make a difference whether you're in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive with the lockers? Uh, you don't. You will not want to run lockers. Yes, it does. You don't run lockers without being four-wheel drive. Gotcha. And there's a little bit of quite a bit of torque with the, uh, especially the front lockers. So you want to be careful and and uh, use those to after thinking about exactly what you think you're trying to achieve as far as, you know, what you're trying to mount. Very cool, very cool. I don't know what the hell I just said. Hey, it makes sense. I, I think we're going we're gonna to publish this all over the place. This I is going hope. in the next magazine article that I would somebody's going to come up with. <laughs> and I do not want you to show this to Martha. <laughs> so we're going to bring her up here. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So anyway, this was a cool, uh, a cool little quick panorama here. That was an excellent uh, discussion, but this is really, <laughs> this, this is really, really pretty out here. Oh. Pretty amazing, so really nice. Let me see. I'm gonna try and zoom in on the lookout tower here. If I can, up on the hill, here. I'm kind of see it. Maybe this will be a little more shaky here, but that's the lookout tower up there. And zoom back out, and uh, yeah, it's all good. We're having a fun day here. This is cool. So, makes me want to go out and get a Jeep. Of course, someday. Buy your truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the truck probably could make some of this out here, but... Yeah, uh, this may be a little too narrow. This is a little narrow here, so, yeah. And the weight has to do with a little bit as yeah. far as... You know, yeah, yeah. Here's, I'm going to zoom in real quick on Al's new shocks here. He, <laughs> he just, uh, see if I can get a picture of this. There they are, right in there. Look at that. He just got those put on. And these are the sway bars I was speaking about. So, this right here is a sway bar and it typically connects up over here. Hmm. So that, therefore, it, it controls how much travel articulation your tire has, your wheel has. But you want more, especially when you're in this rough, very terrain. So I'm able to, the way this is set up, I can actually disconnect the sway bar and then secure it up here, and I even get more travel. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Well, so. Then these are the lights on the front here, of course, and the, the bar and stuff. And then we're talking about a winch. Al doesn't have a winch, but it's a nice feature to have, but it does add weight to the vehicle. So it's one thing you want to keep the keep the weight down on these things if you can. We have all the other recovery gear. Yeah, we're we're ready, we're ready for the you know the um, apocalypse out here. I mean we'll be ready if anything happens. I mean we only have enough. I think I have one sandwich. But, Al's probably got one little bit of food. We have enough food to last for his I lifetime. I have 10 packets of tuna. Oh, he, he's all set. He's got energy bars. So we're bar. good. We're good, man. We're, we're ready. First take kid. We're, we're ready for anything out here, so. But uh, I'm going to turn this off now because I know it's getting boring for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to show this to? I don't know. I'll just pause this. I'll make a video. Here. It's just this one boulder here. And then see how they have the they've uh, piled rocks here oh yeah because the drop is too much for some of the suspension setup yeah so when I came through here you have somebody spot you where to place your wheel I do remember that I had one wheel at least got off ground a couple feet so I probably had what happened is is that probably when I put the rear left up here 
my right front was up in the air. And then when I got down, probably vice versa. Yeah. So this was the toughest little section here. This is pretty steep. Yeah. This it's is just, pretty well, steep. It's just the one boulder here. And then it's a little bit dicey, but not, it's doable. It's just narrow. So you got to be able to put your tires in between those two rocks. Yeah. Now, did you bottom out over going over this rock at no, all? Or? No, it, <laughs> not it, really. It, huh? it worked out. Now, it could be a little taller than it is. I don't remember if these rocks were piled up like this. I don't think they were. But it was, um, it was just precarious from the standpoint that uh, you don't want to get hung up on this thing. Yeah, yeah. So you had to place it. So you probably, you get the first, you know, front tires over, um, and then if you had enough suspension, if you will, clearance, then hopefully uh, you wouldn't, you know, bottom out underneath the vehicle. Right. If that makes sense. It does make sense. But anyway, but this wasn't where I lost my brake line. It's farther down, which we'll see later. Uh, because I'm not going to come back down this way now. Right. You probably can't. You really shouldn't be doing this without another vehicle. Right. Right. Just for a backup for safety, just exactly. in case. Yeah. Good point. All right. Pretty awesome up here too. Got great views of everywhere. This is a great section. I'm going to get over here a little bit just to get a little more panorama too of this uh, this mountain over here. You can see quite a bit. This is kind of looking off towards the towards the desert, I guess, out there. That's really, really pretty, pretty panorama here. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna hike back up to the vehicle again, check out some more areas, and looks like some kind of a helicopter up here. I would guess it's the border patrol. Yeah, they. I don't think we look like illegal aliens, although oh. this guy's he's part Mexican, so you gotta be. watch out. They might try and. Oh yeah, I've been stopped before, handcuffed. <laughs> yeah. You know, but it's all comes with the territory if you wanna have fun. <laughs> and plus, I don't speak Spanish, so they didn't really think I'm an idiot. Yeah, I know. Un poquito, no mucho. Sad, sad, sad. <laughs> Alrighty, all for now. Nice Alright, yeah, here we are. Uh, this is Puerto Madera Mountain. We're just completing our deep ride with Alcons, and we're up at the uh, Forest Service Lookout Tower. Just going to give you a quick panorama. This is a uh, there's a private ranch, there's the Interstate 8 bridge up there to the north of us. And just as an incredible view from where we are right now. Uh, gonna pan around a little bit and just get some more of the view and get an actual view, get a closer view of the uh, Forest Service Tower here as well. And, uh, see what that looks like, see if we can get a chance to get up there and talk to Norm, the, the resident ranger up there. Um, pretty awesome, pretty awesome view. All right, we're uh, getting ready to leave. We talked to Norm at the, I think this is called the Los Pinos Lookout. I saw the sign up there. Ranger Norm. Ranger Norm, real good guy. Really nice to talk to. Oop. And this is uh, the view looking. So again, this is looking to the west from the uh, Los Pinos Ranger Station. We just talked to Ranger Norm and uh, really a nice visit talking to him. This is just an incredible view up here. Here's a view of the, uh, the tower that he stays at the time. And uh, got everything up there. He's got a little kitchen, everything in there. It's pretty amazing. And they're trying to catch people to get this graffiti in this tank here. Some graffiti all over the place. So really a pretty place, so. Jesus to lay down our lives out of love, to give ourselves as gift as we are gifted. That's what the priesthood is all about. 